going to give you 10 reasons why you should let your father bet your man. And if you don't have a father, find a brother or an uncle. Somebody need to vet your man for a very simple reason. If you do, and if they do, they could save you a whole lot of headache down the line. Let's talk about those things. Number one, in order for me to answer this or to respond to this, I had to put myself into place as a father or one who having five daughters of my own. So the first thing I do, if my daughter is interested in dating someone or I'm going to ask the question of my daughter. Hey, is he interested in seeing me? Does he want to see me? Because if he doesn't want to see me, then I would insist on my daughter, then don't bother about seeing him. Because no doubt, most of the time when it's like that, they have some other game. You know, they want to play. They don't want to be real about it. You don't need to get yourself connected with that. Number two, if he does meet me, how are we greeting? Is he greeting me eye to eye? Is he giving me a solid, firm handshake? Because if his handshake is wimpy, that joke is suspect. I don't have time for wimpy handshakes. I don't like them. But if he got a solid handshake, he's looking me eye to eye, might be a man that we can trust. Number three, next thing I'm doing, I'm asking the question, hey, listen, what's your relationship like with your mother? What is your relationship like with your father? Why do I ask that? Because if he has no relationship with his father, there's a possibility something is wrong with him. There is going to be something wrong with him. And if he doesn't have a relationship with his mother, his mother, I look at it like this. If he doesn't have a relationship with the woman who brought him in this world, who cared him for nine months and brought him into this world, how's he going to ever have a relationship or expect him to have a solid relationship with you that does not have any issues? So yeah, I would definitely ask that question. Number four, does he have siblings? How many? How does he get along with them, with his brothers or, or with his sisters if he has? Because that matters. Why? Because that's, again, that's a reflection of family. Is he a person that believes in family, that's strong in family? Most, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But based on his answer, I'm going to know whether or not where, where he stands, whether or not he's legit or he's not legit. Number five, does he own his own car? How did you get here, bro? You driving? Whose car is that? Do you work? How long have you been on your work? Or you are you a job hopper? Those That matters. Why? Because if he's a person that has no stability as far as job, that's a possibility he has no stability in his life. So you want to consider those things. Uh, number six, about whether or not he has children or not. Why? Because you might have to deal with some mama drama. So the question is, is that something that you really want to do? Number seven, does he have any goals? What are his goals? And I'm not just something that he's giving lip service, but does he have a track record? Do you see any evidence that he's one that is pursuing his goals? Whether or not it's to go to college, better himself, whether or not it's to be an entrepreneur, or whatever it is, he has to have goals. The reason I say that is because if you is a, a man without a vision, it's the same as a sailboat without a sail. He ain't going nowhere. Sooner or later, you're going to crash your monster rocks. Why? Because you have no de direction about yourself. Okay, number eight. Uh, how long ago was his last relationship? How long did it last? Why did they break up? Because those same traits that he had in those, that relationship, he may have that same trait with you in the relationship with you. Or let shall I say, since I'm talking to the third person with my daughter. Okay, so check out his relationships, all right, past relationships. Number nine, how does he live? Does he live alone? Does he live with someone, i.e. his mother or his father, maybe his sister or brother? Why am I asking that question? Because I want to see if he has any stake in being responsible. Is he a responsible person? Does he pay his bills? Uh, does he take care of himself? Does he provide for himself? Because there's a possibility if he has no place of his own and you have a place, Guess what he might be interested in the back of his mind? I'm going to go live with her. I'm going to go stay with her. Nah, Joker, you got to have your own. You want to come date my daughters. I'm just going to keep it real. And number 10, is he financially literate? Not illiterate, but is he financially literate? In essence, does he invest? Does he save money? Uh, does he do right by his money? Does he pay his bills on time? Is he a responsible person? No, because guess what? 
he could take you out to dinner, then get you get the dinner or a night out, and you end up footing the bill. Is that something you really want to do? I don't think so. So my thing is this here. Whatever man you are interested in dating, get him vetted. You want to make sure you have another man check him over. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know for a fact. You want to do that. You don't have your father. Get a brother. Or get someone, some man who has some moral qual- qualities about themselves to vet that man. I know most women, you try to hide. I know daughters, you want to hide it from you. You don't want your father or whoever to know that you're dating this man. you all all undercover. It ain't going to turn out right. I guarantee you, 99.9, no, forget the 99.9. I'm going to say 100% of the time, it's not going to turn out right. I guarantee you that. So listen, get them vetted, because if you do that, save yourself a whole lot of headaches down the road, as well as wasted time and money in that joker. Yeah, I did say joker, because that's what he is, all right? So let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're there, why don't you subscribe, like, and share this video. And until next time, we see you. But you be good, okay? And thank you for watching Father's Note. Thank you.